Friday night, former Husker pitcher and Hawaii native Shane Komine returned to Lincoln for the first time since 2010 to throw out the first pitch for Nebraska's game against the Nevada Wolfpack. Returning to Haymarket Park and slipping on his old jersey, the former Husker All-American reminisced on his senior year, Nebraska's first season at the new ballpark. Walking into this ballpark for the first time, you know, coming from Buck Belcher, which was a, a, you know, a stadium that had half, half astral turf, half grass, part of it was the practice field for the football team, uh, and to see this beautiful you know, multi-million dollar stadium built for our team, um, you know, it was it was special. It was magical, and uh, you know, I had a lot of great memories from here. A three-time All-American, Komine cemented his Husker legacy with an Iron Man mentality over his four years. One particular moment stuck out. Amidst a season in which the right-hander tossed seven complete games, he threw 162 pitches in a three-hit shutout of Rice in the 2001 Super Regional. Uh, that was a, a crazy game. What what I don't think a lot of people know is we did have uh, a little delay in the first inning, and I actually had to go in and throw about 40 more pitches indoors just to stay warm. Um, but you know, I mean, I, I was not getting pulled from that game. That was that was a game that. Uh, you know, for me, I know the year before against Stanford, I remember that feeling of, uh, you know, going home from Stanford and, and being that close. And um, that next year, it was it was something that, you know, all of us pulled together. We, we wanted that win so bad uh, to get us off on the right foot. And going against Rice uh, and that team against Skaggs, I remember playing them. Um, great pitching staff, great hitting staff, and uh, you know, we, we got the job done in that first game. Komine finished as Nebraska's career leader in wins, strikeouts, and complete games. But perhaps the most impressive was his school record for innings pitched with 431. For me, I, I wanted, I always wanted to, to toll that rubber and, and finish every single game. Um, but uh, you know, obviously there, there's games that the coaches pull you out. But if I could stay in there for that, that whole game, that's that's what I wanted. Although I did have experience a few injuries, I think some of those um, were, you know, could have been uh, maybe prevented. But I, I just look back at it and, I, you know, it, it's all about the, the time that I had here and giving it my all. Komine was drafted to the Oakland A's after his senior season and Nebraska's second straight College World Series appearance in 2002. When he came back to finish his degree in 2010, he threw out the first pitch for a game against Texas A&M, but said this one meant a little more. That's special. You know, it's, uh, now I have my family with me, my, my twin boys, my wife, my parents who were always out here, it seemed like every, every month watching games when I was playing. Um, but to be able to share it with, with the family is something special. They, they see pictures and uh, clippings of, of my time here, but I think now they, being out here, they see the full impact of uh, you know, what, what I did here. As perhaps the most decorated pitcher in Nebraska history, Komine's name is never lost on the minds of long-term Husker baseball fans. Now living back in Hawaii with his family, Komine often reflects on those College World Series his junior and senior year, and says there are some things about them he'll never forget. Driving up the, the highway and seeing it lined with fans from Lincoln to Omaha, uh, it, was, it was one of the most special feelings, and I, I would get chicken skin just, just talking about it and thinking about that. With power, precision, and endurance, Komine built a reputation on the mound that turned Nebraska into a national power. And even looking at a program that hasn't reached a super regional since 2005, the former All-American believes the Huskers are not far away from a resurgence. Talking to some of the guys over the past few days, um, they have it. I, they, it reminds me a lot of, of our team. Um, and, you know, they'll, they'll figure it out. I think this program is, uh, is due for, you know, another run at the College World Series. And, um, you know, once they catch, catch a few breaks, things go their way. Uh, last night's game is a prime example of that. Um, they have the, the, the right makeup to get there.